So hello everybody. I hope that this is working because I have been wanting to do a live for such a long time. Let's see, hopefully this works. How do I know if everybody can see this? Let me open up my computer and see if I can find myself. All right, let's see. Um, YouTube, I'm going to my YouTube channel to see. If yes, you can see that it's live. All right, cool. Let's see. Let's see if this works. And what's this? Oh my God, you can make your face Hi, oh my God, there's six people on the line. How can I see this chat? You guys know that this is like my second live that I've ever done. The first one, the camera quality was horrible. And I have literally been sitting here for the last hour, like a knob, with my good camera, trying to set up this live so it has high quality, but I couldn't figure it out. Like I did it and then, it was just so delayed from what I was talking to was what was showing up. So I don't know. I'm doing it with my new iPhone 12. Can you just let me let me try to figure out how I can see this chat? Hold on. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. I see a chat. Jewel Marie's. Hi. So can you please help me out really quick? Can you tell me how is the quality of this? Is it sharp or is it blurry? Please, you look beautiful, love the green dresser. Hi, can you guys please help me? Cause I'm literally doing this for like the second time and I have no idea what I'm doing. Can you tell me if, if, if like the quality of the video, is it blurry or is it good? It looks great, awesome. Anyway, I wanted to just do a live and just kind of like, just catch up with you guys. I'm literally like in my room, as you can see because it takes a lot for me. It takes just a lot of time but it's between me doing a video, recording it and uploading it. And I literally have so much to catch up with you about. It's been my birthday. I've been like off YouTube for two weeks. I was supposed to launch my jewelry collection on April 7th, it didn't happen. So it was just a lot to do a video. I'm like, let me just jump on here and let's just chat. All right, so hold on. Let me get my together on this side and see how I can open up this chat. How do I open up this chat? Uh, chat. Ugh, how can I see? I'm trying to figure out how I see this chat. Um, man. No, how can I see the chat? super chat all live live yeah i just want the i just want to see all oh okay hi okay so i'm gonna tell you what i can see i can see jewel marie's uh message hello beautiful hello i can see julie judy valdez you look beautiful love the green dress the jewelry is also fire thank you i just want this super chat to stay open member super chat live chat i just want the live chat yes then I see, okay, Tawana. Hi, Maria, you look beautiful and the quality is great. Perfect, very happy. Hi, Farah, hi, Karma. And basically that's it. Okay, so I don't know, I'm here. So you guys, if, if there's anything that, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. It's super cute, actually. Well, let me see, let me move this phone. It's like this super beautiful like dress. Sorry, this is my camera tripod. This is by Devin Windsor. It's super nice. It's just very beachy. I actually recorded a video today with it and you guys are gonna see it tomorrow. I wanted to do like a little styling video of like what I actually wear because I do live in Miami and it's super hot and I live across the beach. So, hi Natalie. Okay, let me ask you something. Is there anything that you guys, I needed to just come on here and I wanted to just, you know, talk to you, see how everybody's doing. I mean, I just feel like I am, I basically went on my um, 
sailing trip right before my birthday and I still have vlogs from back then that I still haven't uploaded and I just feel like I am so behind. I am in the search of a video editor so if you know someone please 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 send them over my way because I'm struggling here I'm struggling. It's been years I'm following and I can't believe you're talking to me. Jill Marie I want to know where are you? Like, are you, can you guys let me know in the chat here, please, can you type where you are, like what city you're in? I want to know if you guys are in the US. I want to know if like 8.30 at night is a good time to jump on here and do this lives. Go Marie, I love how it works. <laughs> Hello, beautiful lady. Hi, truth teller. Hi, ah, you're in Ottawa. You're in Pennsylvania. Ah, tú estás en Argentina. Hola, Bettina, ¿cómo estás? Jasmina, you're in New York. I have so many friends from New York that I'm here. You're in Toronto, Montreal, Chicago, Atlantic City. Okay, so we are all in the United States. So, I mean, I don't really know what to talk to you guys about, so I guess I'll just start from the beginning. Hi, Kim Sue and Judy. You're in New York. So, I wanted to just say that i turned you guys guess how okay you guys know it was my birthday on april 7th do you guys know how old i am now i want you guys to take a guess in the chat let's see if you can actually guess how old i am now i i would love to know this you better be kind you're in brussels are you in brussels now Farah. Happy related birthday. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kim, I think you have been looking. Oh, Farah, 32. I love you. Can we be best friends? Kara, can we be best friends as well? Thank you. Happy belated birthday. You look like 28, but I know you're 40. Yes, that's because you've been watching my channel and like two years ago I said how old I was and now I'm like, mm -hmm. I can't hide. I'm 40 years old, guys. I turned 40 and I am very happy. I'm not going to lie to you. A couple of days before turning 40, I was like, no, you know, I'm fine. Yeah, I was a little bit like... I was a little bit feeling like, okay, I need to be like more responsible and I need to make some changes, you know, like I ain't in my 20s anymore. If I don't work out and I don't eat healthy, uh, you can literally immediately start seeing the whole situation here and here. I mean, you guys can tell I am, I am heavier now than when I was like living in London. I am like a couple of pounds overweight. You can tell. You look beautiful and stunning and I know, thank you. You look great, I'm 46 and I feel good about myself. Okay, so I have hope, I have hope. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you for changing your YouTube, your YouTube name. Yes, I remember Nicola, but why did you change it to Truth Teller? I need a drink, hold on. Well, thank you. Let's hope that it stays like that for a long time. I wanted to, I want to talk to you guys about like a couple of things because they're, you know, I really wish that I had like a, I really wish that I had a microphone and I, hi, the luminous you. I really wish I had like, I could hear you guys talk. Like, you know, we could see each other. That would be a lot of fun for me. I want to, I wish I look as young and stunning as you when I get to 40. Girl, you just got to green juice a lot. A lot of green juicing. A lot of um, just make, do what makes you happy. And you need to have your full beauty sleep 8 to 10 hours a night, you know? <laughs> it will be the best decade of your life. New opportunities and fearless. Thank you for that. I wish you the best energy as well. Hi, good night. Are you leaving? Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things. One, I'm just gonna get that out of the way really quick. You guys might be like, hey, you said that you were gonna put out a jewelry collection on February 7th, and then we've been going to your website and it's not live, like what the hell is going on? So long story short, 
Welcome to the 40s club! Hey! 40s club! 40s club! 40s club! <laughs> uh, so I want to tell you because I need to get this off my chest because I have literally been like a nervous wreck the last two weeks and instead of me just coming and making a video and just like make sure to hit the like button okay yeah make sure to hit the like button i don't even know if that works on uh youtube lives so i wanted to tell you that all right so i was supposed to launch my jewelry collection uh not my jewelry collection i was just supposed to make a spiritual gloss live on april 7th right and it, Shopify, which is the platform where my website is built on, it's like where everybody has their uh, website, they were doing some security updates for you guys that shop in it. And then another thing that I wanted to do is that in my checkout process, I wanted in the I wanted to start accepting as payment, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dutchcoin, because I am a huge believer of the technology behind cryptocurrency i know it's the future like it has literally changed my life and i wanted to put that as the check as one of the checkout options and shopify told me yeah no problem it's only gonna take you know a couple of hours a couple of hours it has taken already like well since april 7th until today they finally 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 uh, like gave me access to the back end of my website like yesterday so I was like Phew. and um, because while they were doing the updates I couldn't even like access it I couldn't like update anything I couldn't do anything so I was honestly I felt just really embarrassed I was so embarrassed I was so embarrassed because like I had said I was gonna do something and like I didn't do it and I just felt that so much work had been put by not only me but like by so many people like you know like the people that make the jewelry they're like this really old people that have been doing this for like 40 years and then you know you have like sophie that helps me do the content and then you have like my other friends that are always helping me like take pictures and stuff and i just felt like i had just like let everybody down honestly but there was nothing that i could do like literally so one thing that i have learned as i get older is that when things don't really are working the way that you want them to work out you literally just need to let go so i let go and i literally just i wasn't feeling well i'm gonna tell you the truth i called i i just had to start meditating a lot with prashant which you guys know he's my meditation teacher and just you know just trying to be grateful for what is and accept what is and i was like well eventually this is just going to be good and then we can just do it in a, in a nice way because for me whenever i put out like a new collection it's not like oh let me see how many sales i make like i honestly don't care about how many sales i make for me it's like i i'm i'm putting something out that i have creatively done with so much love and i want to share that with you and if you like it then amazing um and i just uh, yeah that's a long explanation of this Second explanation, I don't know if you guys have been hiding underneath a rock or what, but have you guys been seeing what's going on with cryptocurrency in the world? Like, I'm sure you guys aren't on YouTube and you see it. It's like, Dogecoin this. Um, like, wow. Can you let me know in the comment section if you guys, like, at least you realized it when it was time to, like, yeah. I actually realized that it was time to let go the day of my birthday. I actually spent my entire day on the computer just trying to get the website and everything live. And then it was like 6 p.m. and I had been sitting in my computer all day and my friends threw me a surprise a birthday dinner in a place called Carbones in Miami, which is beautiful. And uh, I was just like, oh, I'm not gonna let this ruin, you know, today is a very special day. So yeah, I went from there to dinner. I actually took my camera but duh dumb me i didn't have a memory card in it so the only things i have for my birthday are all the um videos that my friends did on their phone so i'm just going to pack that up and i'm gonna put it in a video and i'm gonna put it out let me know would you guys like to see that let me see where are you guys live chat uh at least you no need to feel bad. People still support. Yeah, I just feel.
because when you say something you should like really follow up on it let me ask you guys something are you have you guys i just want to know if i'm like the only person here that like eh, it's just I, do you guys like when you go online are you guys like hearing about all these changes that cryptocurrency is doing like it's all over the place yes please do show us video of your birthday okay i'll show you the video of my birthday i don't know how to put it here on the live chat i don't know how to put it here a vlog of your birthday celebration okay i'm just saying this birthday cell this birthday vlog is gonna be really massive because i'm just basically took whatever videos i took from you know my friends phones this is one of my birthday presents you guys have seen it i don't know how good it looks on this camera but it's so beautiful uh you can't really see it that good here can you it doesn't even focus oy, oy, oy. whatever this is a, a topaz this topaz is literally my favorite stone in the world ever does this look good? Let me see. How can I, I don't want to touch anything. I don't know. I don't know enough about cryptocurrency. Dude, cryptocurrency is exploding. Just so you know, just so you know, I have a friend that last week he made $1 million with Dodge in like five hours. He put in $90,000 and like Dogecoin went up like something ridiculous, like 400%. And like he hit $1 million. And I know that for a fact because I put that day, I like the day before I had put like $3,000 on Dogecoin and literally overnight, those $3,000 were like $13,000. I should have sold it at that moment, but obviously I didn't because I got greedy and I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to hold on to it longer. So it keeps on going up. It went down the next day. So. I lost the money that I could have made, which was like almost eight, nine thousand dollars. But overall, I have made so much money with Dogecoin, and um, not only Dogecoin. Like honestly, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I I started like knowing about cryptocurrency last year in August when I was in Ibiza. My friend that's there. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever met him. I don't think so. I don't think I ever put him on video, but. Um, I have a friend that he's very involved in cryptocurrency and he actually started teaching me about it and in january guys in january uh it's the gamble and you have to keep going yeah you can't really put money in there that you're not willing to lose but just so you understand i started in january like heavily i'm like cryptocurrency i'm like crypto 24 7. Like I'm, I watch all the crypto news you can think of. I'm so addicted to it. Like I, I trade every day. I started in January with $3,000. Guys, it's what? It's April 26th. I am like, I've already made like 40K from those $3,000 that I, that I started with. And it's just like, it's really life-changing money for a lot of people. At least for me, it has allowed me to to do a lot of things that I couldn't do before, you know? Um, like for example, right now, where I am right now, I am in, uh, I'm not home. Like I'm not at my house in that you guys usually see me because that's my mom's house. And I've always wanted to live in Miami Beach, but to be honest with you, like I couldn't afford it. I like, couldn't afford a freaking rent in Miami Beach. Like I just couldn't, I don't have like that much of a steady income to be like, yeah, let me get involved in like a, rental contract that shit scares the living shit out of me because i don't want to be put in a situation where you know i have like responsibilities that i can't fulfill and um and like yeah basically because of the earnings that i have made and like i literally i, I can sit down guys and like i will make two thousand dollars in 30 minutes you get up early you put in like a trade you sit there but you need to know what you're investing in you know and i actually have learned a lot you lose you win a lot and you lose a lot but you win more than what you lose you just need to know what you're doing but like thanks to that like right now where i am is i'm in um what do you use to trade my husband and i are looking for a good trading site i use binance 
because Binance is uh, actually where you can trade all the, you know, like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cardano, all the major cryptocurrencies, but you can also trade the altcoins, which are, um, I don't know, maybe you guys know what an altcoin or, or it's not, but an altcoin is basically like smaller coins that are like dogecoin is an, an is, is an altcoin and dogecoin is basically like the the currency of the people and the reason why these things are just like completely taking off is like imagine normally if you have bad credit and like you let's say that you make like a decent living i don't know i don't know let's say that you work like a nine to five job and like you are making i don't know three four thousand dollars and a no, Binance, B-I-N-A-N-C-E, Binance. And Binance is where you have the lowest trading fees. So like, let's say that you buy like Bitcoin or Ethereum in crypto.com, which is like a, like a crypto.com. So you have a, a couple different apps where you can just buy it on your phone, which is like crypto.com. You have Kraken, you have Coinbase. But the problem with this is that the fees are really high. So if you get Binance, exactly Binance, you're gonna to have to go there is binance.us you're gonna to have to do your kyc which you have to put your name and like you have to put your real address and all and everything um the fees there are really low so you just have it so you have an idea if you go on your app and you buy let's say like five two thousand dollars of ethereum on crypto.com like you're gonna get hit with like 150 to dollar fee just to make that transaction but if you do it on binance it's literally like two dollars so there are so many good, good, not so many. I watch like three YouTubers that literally are so good at explaining everything every day. And they um, post like two, three times a day and they're incredible. I have been watching them now for a long time and I have like made insane gains with them. I will make sure that I like let you guys know about it if you really are interested in really knowing about this because I think that it's just a really big opportunity before like if you didn't have good credit you can't get a house if you don't have good credit you can't get a car like I don't even have credit in the U.S. I've been living in Europe for the last 11 years so it's like I can't do anything here but what you know cryptocurrency allows you to do is like you know anyone let's say there's people that cannot that are not even eligible to go and open up a bank account in other countries like in Africa or not even in Af Africa even in Dominican Republic they're just poor not eligible to go and open up a bank account that's really messed up they have the ability of taking $100 $200 and buying some cryptocurrency putting it into bitcoin putting it into ethereum and or dogecoin and like it just that lit those $100 at the end of the month now are $6,000. They would have normally not had the opportunity to do that. Me, if I want to go and buy a car now, I can go and get it. I can get a Tesla with a Bitcoin. I mean, how incredible is that? Well, that's a huge difference in fees. Yes, it's a huge difference in fees. So I am going to... I don't know if I'm going to leave this <laughs> live um, chat like on the on the on my channel because i feel like this is all over the place but i will uh yeah just go to binance.us and just sign up it's actually gonna they're gonna take like 24 hours or something like that to approve you and do you guys have any questions for me oh i do have a question for you guys and this is super super important can you share what youtubers you watch yes so sheldon evans super good sheldon evans so sheldon evans he is from south africa he has a really nice and beautiful and sexy accent so you're probably you know i know probably in love with him he's not my type but he is so calm and so smart and like just says anything everything so so you understand it another one that i watch religiously is called the moon carl so the moon just like that type it in the moon carl and basically what carl does is that carl is the one that walks me through my trades every single day mitch ray is really good with cryptocurrency i don't know who mitch ray mitch ray is i watch ivan on tech ivan on tech he's from sweden and he 
uh, he's incredible. He's just really good at explaining things to you in a way that you understand it. Because the thing with cryptocurrency is like, if you don't really know what step one, two, and three, and four, then it, you get so confused. And then you think that is something that is difficult, but it's in reality so easy. So I watch Ivan on tech, Sheldon Evans, and the moon. I watch these guys every day, a couple times a day. Like I put, I put the notifications bell, all everything. As soon as they post, I need to see. And I follow them on Twitter, and I follow them on on, on like in, um, what's it called? Uh, the not WhatsApp. It's called Telegram. Wait, let me see what else. Uh, live chat. I believe it doesn't matter your likes on a live, it increases engagement. I don't even know. I don't even know, girl. This is the second live I do. Whoa, that's a huge difference. Yes. Binance. Yeah, Ethereum is a great coin. And the reason why... Oh my God, this... Uh, so the reason why Ethereum is a great uh, coin is because there are a lot of... So what cryptocurrency is and what these coins are really are technologies that are actually solving a problem in society so that's why there's like all these different coins not all of them have fundamentals but most of them do so ethereum is basically like is very very important because um a lot of this the majority of these uh new technologies are built on the ethereum network so bitcoin is one network that's like a, a one blockchain and then the um, ethereum is a completely different you know network they work completely different um let me see what else i got here live chat i believe it doesn't matter okay i wanted to ask you guys a really important question that i have been struggling with a little bit oh no 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 i've been i, I I've, I've been wanting to ask you this um because I really just want to hear from you. So, for example, right now I have uh, the the things that I have that the, the pieces that I'm going to be putting out on this uh, new spring summer drop are actually exactly the what I wanted to do is that I wanted to put out the pieces that I actually wear, like what i have right now like what i am wearing right now what i like but also what i wear is always in 14 karat gold and like if i and if it's diamonds then i'm usually wearing 14 karat gold and diamonds um because what's this no i don't like these things uh anyway i don't know how to fix that Oy, oy, oy. how do I get rid of it okay so so the thing that I am uh, just questioning and I really want to know it's like okay I can you know I can have things that I put out that are similar to what I'm wearing but not like in the quality that I am wearing it so it'll be like you know things that are made out of silver with like a gold bath or do you guys want me to do both do you want me to actually have available the things that I wear? Like, for example, for my birthday, my mom gave me this ring. And it's so beautiful. You can't really, like, honestly see it here because it's not even, like, focusing very well. But you're going to see it on the website. So, basically, it's a super sick ring. It's so sick. And it's all in yellow gold and diamonds. And what the reason why I love that ring is because it takes away all my stacking issues, you know? Let me see if I... Let me put this light down a little bit. Oy, 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 oy. Is that better? No, that's not better. Anyway. But the thing is that, like, for example, this is what I wear. This is made in, in 14 karat gold with real diamonds. Or, like, for example, this little ring here, I love it because it's, like, a half eternity ring. And it's just, I find it that it's a great, you know, entry point for someone that wants to start their jewelry collection or they want to, like, stack what they already have. And it's, like, 14 karat gold and diamonds, but it's affordable you know it would be like i don't know something like this it's maybe like 260 dollars um 
But one thing that I, I am like very concerned about is, hold on. One thing that I'm very concerned about is, do you want me to make available? Like, do you want me to just put pieces out that are pretty or do you actually want to have the option of, get, of getting exactly what I have in case that you wanted to get that? And the reason why I'm asking that is because the price difference is significant. And I don't want you to ever feel that like you have to go and you have to get something that is expensive. At the end of the day, everything that I put out that, hey, what's happened with your shoes? I still love your boots. Oh, my shoes are good. Um, my shoes are, uh, right now the factories in Italy are like not working. So there's no point in, I can't put out a shoe collection because factories are <laughs> still, you know, Italy is pretty much on still on lockdown. So it would mean like I would have shoes made now and then God knows when we would get them delivered. You know what I mean? And you know that I get really stressed out when I have things stuck in customs, which is why I really loved the fact that we started making jewelry over the uh, last June. And it was literally the middle of the pandemic. So that was like pretty crazy. But I still found like a creative outlet on something that I like. And what's really cool is that now I formed a team here in Miami, like literally a couple blocks from my house of... And, and this is something that I haven't told you, but this is something that I'm really, really like. This warms my heart, man. Seriously, it does. So we're a team. I build a team of seven, eight people, and they're all have been in like the jewelry making industry for like 35, 40 years. Like, I don't know anything about this. They are the ones that make everything happen. I'm like so completely useless. Um, I just do like all the technical stuff in the back end, but they're like the ones that teach me, this is how you do this, and this is how you do that. And the reason why it has actually, you know, made me super happy to continue doing this is because they, like all these people are very old. They're like in their late 60s, early 70s, and they have lost a lot. A lot of them have lost a lot of their work because these are like the artisans that are in the United States that now all the major uh, companies jewelry companies in the united states they have everything done abroad and now you know like in china or in india or in italy um, and now they don't have jobs so one of the things that makes me so happy is just to see how happy they are every day like these people have been doing the same thing for 35 years you see them the guy that puts the diamonds 35 years doing this thing like how do you not get tired the the lady that like polishes the jewelry and like makes it super shiny and beautiful her name is maria she's like has been doing this forever and like she's so passionate about it so that's something that for me makes me really happy that you know, I feel that we are giving them jobs. I feel like we are giving them jobs because otherwise, I don't know, they would be living on like minimum wage from the government or something. I actually have been filming them all these days. They don't like being on camera, but I have been filming them and I, I, I'm going to edit that tonight and um, yeah, I don't know, put it out for you tomorrow or something like that. Everything has been outsourced. Yes, everything has been outsourced. And I know why it has been outsourced. Like I make everything in Europe. I make everything in Italy, but it's because I have been living in that side of the world for such a long time. But also it's like, it's also the reason why things are outsourced is because when I go there to them and I say, this is, this is how I prepare them mentally. I've been saying, okay guys, I'm going to drop this. Good for you. Good, good to bring jobs back home. Yeah, but... I, I'm not the I'm not I'm you guys are the ones bringing this uh, job back home because it's because you know whenever we get whenever you put an order I make them do it and then like you know they do it and it's like it's job that we are giving them. Mira Alvaro, como tu ta? You guys say hi to Alvaro. Alvaro is my friend from the Dominican Republic that I have known ever since I'm like I don't know sixteen or seventeen. And he just jumped on the chat. But at the same time, you and your team can earn a great return. Look, to tell you the truth, um, I make more, I, I actually earn more money if you make things abroad because the cost of production is very low. 
it's very very low and here let's say what it would take me to produce a ring in italy it would cost me like a hundred and fifty dollars maybe two hundred and fifty dollars to produce like a really 14 karat gold ring beautiful that same ring here is going to cost 600 700 dollars so at the end of the day yes we are giving them jobs but the the the, the labor it's here but you know what i think that we need to give back to everybody that you know took care of us while we were growing up and like to all these people that now they're elderly and it's not fair for them to you know be struggling in like their old years and they are so talented a ver so wait i i missed something here i need to check let me go back eh, hi alvaro viste que te están saludando alvaro ahí en el chat se están saludando te quiero mucho y muchísimas gracias por escribirme un mensaje Espérate que me hicieron, mandaron un mensaje aquí. All right, hold on. Uh, okay, but with regard to the jewelry, I think you make beautiful pieces. The challenge making good quality pieces that won't tarnish too quickly. That are... Okay, so exactly. So she says, truth, 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 this is what Truth is saying. I don't know if you guys are like reading this chat. It says, she says, she says, to the regard to the jewelry, I think you make beautiful pieces. The challenge is making good quality pieces that won't tarnish too quickly, that are affordably priced. So that's exactly what I'm trying to get at. I can, what I wear is 14 karat gold because you guys, I'm a lazy fuck. I do not like to sit here and take off my jewelry. I live across the beach and you guys know that I'm always in the beach. And like, if I spend money on something, I want it to last me forever. I don't want to buy like something today that in like three months, it's gonna be like, forget it. I, I don't wanna use it anymore. So, you know, if you want something to last you a really long time, really like Raquel, hola babe, prepárate. Que me pare. Anyway. What I was saying, it was like, you know, if you want something to last you a long time, really like invest in the 14 karat gold pieces. And what you have to do is just divide it by the time of, amount of times you're going to wear it. And I'm tr like, honestly, I think that the 14 karat gold prices are super affordable. But um, the other pieces that are not 14 karat gold, they're called vermeil. And basically what it means is that the base is 925 silver but on top it has a bath of 18 karat gold it has four microns that's a lot that's like four layers of it the industry standard is 2.5 nobody uses four microns because it's extremely expensive but i pay more because i really want you guys to get something that you know lasts you a long time and i really don't want to be getting messages from you guys being like you know this sucks because at the end of the day you know it's like it's my word to you and for me, that's all that matters. It's not how many sales I have. I just want to make sure that you have something that you really, really like. Obviously, some people love my vermeil. Oh, right? So I want to ask you something. Lorena is in the chat, chat and she said, I love my vermeil diamond boy. Which is, let me see. Let me show you what she's talking about. Well, she has the boy. I only, I have the girl here. Let me see if I can find. Hmm. I mean, you guys know what she's talking about. Hold on. Uh, here it is. Oh no, something is dying. Is that my computer? Damn. Anyway, I can't find the boy. I wasn't prepared for this. But what she's talking about is like this. This is the girl, but there's the boy. And like these pieces come in 14 karat gold and real diamonds or in vermeil which is the silver, you know, with the four microns of gold. And like, for example, Lorena, keep going. I really love you. Cállate. No me hagas pasar vergüenza aquí delante de la gente. Este, Lorena, I want you to like be super truthful, okay? Like literally super truthful. You're on the chat and everybody can see you. The last time that I took this out was probably six months ago. And you have probably been wearing that every day. You have never taken it off your neck. Have you ever had a problem with it? Has it turned on you? Has it lost color? Has it done anything? Just go on the chat and you can say the truth. Like, you know, I think that I'm not here to... I think that... Muestra los panes. ¿Qué es eso? I 
Álvaro, yo te voy a matar. I love, I love you. Your message is powerful and I know you're inspiring so many people around the world. I miss you. When are you coming back here? You guys, so Álvaro, I want to tell you about Álvaro. Álvaro is like one of the most creative people that I know. Like he is super creative. I've known him forever and I've tried to see him a couple times. He lives in Dominican Republic, but every time he has come to Miami, I have missed him. But I miss him so much and I wish... I wish that you can come back soon. So then you can come on this chat and we can say hi to everybody together. A ver. Hey, Alabama, how are you? I saw the storm on the news a few weeks ago. A storm of what? Happy birthday from Alabama, thank you. Okay, guys, so I, I okay i have another question oh my god we've been on here for 40 minutes you guys better ask me questions that you want to know that i'm like now that i'm in the mood of just like giving out information i want to know something <laughs> i love you jewelry and i think women of a certain age has classy pieces last them that could pass on oops wait wait a ver, oh my god, I am such a knob when it comes to reading these things. Live chat. Okay, I uh, love your jewelry and I think women of a certain age have classic pieces that last them that could pass on to someone. I love the 14 karat and diamond jewelry that's a statement and timeless. I think the same thing, um, but I just wanted to like talk to you and kind of like make that clear because I don't ever like the last thing I want to do is like give somebody anxiety and be like oh my god I really want that but oh it's expensive like I I honestly honestly like if I you know what I'm gonna start another channel and I'm gonna let you guys behind like the so you can see like everything behind the store and you can actually see what you know the margins are they're so low because what i care about is like i want you to like have something that you truly love i think that luxury should be accessible to everybody and it's messed up how you know society dictates like oh yeah you can have this and you can have that which is why i freaking love cryptocurrency because it's like Nobody can go in there and tell you, you can make this much, you cannot make this much. Literally, if you're making like 2K a month and you put your money into cryptocurrency, you can literally, literally like be earning those 2K can be like 10K or more at the end of the month. This is not financial advice. I don't want to get in trouble. You girls put your big girl pants on if you want to get into it. You, you need to be willing to lose what you put in. But all I can tell you is that like... It has literally like changed my life. And I love that. I love that how it's just like, you know, it's just we are all equals and we all have the right, I think, to just we should all have the same things. Sebas XD, I love you. Well, I guess I love you back. What's your name? Okay, I want to ask you something. Ugh, for the jewelry, it depends on this clientele. Some prefers have quality and long lasting. Some prefers a jewelry on budget. So this is what I'm going to do because I'm not going to lie to you. I've been like struggling. Um, I'm just going to put it all on the website. And then actually, you guys are going to really like this. You're going to really, really, really like this. Um, where is my phone? I want to show you something. Okay, I have such a mess here. Now I can't find anything. Anyway, I got a new phone with a completely new phone line and that is going to be only for spiritual gloss. So we're, it's going to, you're going to be able to text or WhatsApp there. I'm going to be on the other side of it. So you can ask me any question you have whenever. Hola, Mirta. Um, y besos de Argentina. Un beso desde Miami. ¡Ah, Mirta! Oh my God, Mirta. Una amiga mía también. Me da mucho gusto verte y gracias por escribirme un mensaje, mandarme un beso. Um, I wanted to tell you guys something because I know that sometimes you guys are uh, writing to me and it comes on my personal WhatsApp and like I just don't check it that much because it gives me anxiety. So I have taken out a new phone line just for spiritual gloss. You guys can write to me there. I just prefer you write and not call because then I can't really follow the chat after if we need to like understand like whatever we had talked about before. But yeah, 
Okay, I want to know something. Hello, I want to know something. This is important. I am going to be moving on Saturday to my first apartment ever that I have put under my name. So it's a pretty big thing. It's like a 40 year old thing. Like, okay, now I'm like being more responsible. And by the way, that is possible. Thank you to my crypto money. So otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do that. So I want to know if you want to see, what do you want to see more? Do you want me to do like more styling videos? Do you want to see just my vlogs? Like literally very raw, kind of like what I do every day. Um, I'm sorry, I do not have a fabulous life. I'm not out doing fabulous things every day. Like I literally get up, I go, I get my tea. I, I am living across the beach though. And I literally just, you know, go have my tea in the morning. Thank you, crypto. I have my tea in the morning on the water. And then after that, I do a little practice meditation. And then I go back to my computer to grind and I eat healthy and I try to look like I'm 25. So I want to know, do you guys want, what do you want to see? Do you want me to just do styling videos for you? Or do you also want me to, or do you like watching my vlogs? I find them so boring. Can you? Okay, hold on. I will definitely invest because we have some things to do. Oh God, before 45, girl, girl, how did I get to 40? <laughs> sí, Lorena, yo sé, a mí me encantaría subir más videos a YouTube también. Lo que pasa es que yo necesito que ustedes me digan lo que ustedes quieren ver. Porque en realidad yo todos los días ponerme y subir solamente un video de fashion a mí me aburre eso un poco porque la vida es mucho más que qué vestido me voy a poner hoy, ¿me entiendes? Entonces, si ustedes me dicen lo que ustedes quieren, yo se lo doy. Uh, we love to see the new place only because hubby and I are looking for a place in Miami and want a good location. Yeah, I got you, girl. I got you. Um, I can actually help you out with the location that you want in Miami because I literally, one, grew up here and two, I have seen every single apartment in this town. Your travel blogs are amazing. Still love your fashion. Okay, I will show you my new place, but um, I don't move in there until Saturday, and that's if I get approved by the association. Okay, uh, wait. It says, You're my daily vlog blogs at works. I love them. They're beautiful and interesting, believe it or not, especially if you're showing us what you eat and you work out, girl. I love your styling videos, but I love your vlogs too. Your life might be boring to you, but still interesting to some of us. Okay. I'm down. Uh, okay, the new place, I'll show you. Can you talk about the thick chain you have on? Is that 14 karat gold? No. So this here that I wear always, because I love them, they just complete everything. These, uh, these are the Cuban chain and the color looks horrible on here, but it's beautiful. Like, I don't know, like this, this lighting here is not doing me any justice. With COVID, we made it more clear to buy a place to get away. Okay, so this that you guys always see me wearing in my videos, it looks terrible on this live. This is a Cuban chain and actually this one is stainless steel, uh, chirurgical grade stainless steel with 18 karat gold bath. And the reason why I don't wear it in gold is because if I wore a gold one, it would be, it would cost a lot of money because it's very heavy and gold is by the price of the weight. So if you want a real gold one, uh, we make them, <laughs> you know, they're like, they're like 4K, 3K. Um, but the ones that I am wearing right now, these are sterling, uh, no, these are uh, stainless steel, which is hypoallergenic with a gold bath. So these have lasted me forever, but I also have them. I have one of them that is with a silver base 925 silver and the and the gold bath that's my rose gold one because if i want to go and i buy want to buy a rose gold one i can but it's like 4k i don't know if i want to spend 4k on a necklace um okay what else i've been here talking to myself for 50 minutes i feel like a crazy person Definitely do an apartment tour too, especially after you've decorated it because those get a lot of views on YouTube. So you will get an even larger audience. 
actually i think that i'm just going to vlog what i do every day um i think that you guys might learn a thing or two about a thing or two uh my life is not going around and like taking instagram pictures and like what did i eat today like you know what i mean like i'm a grown-ass woman <laughs> and i do a lot of fun things but um i think that one of the honestly one of the things that i would like to do the most is actually be able i would like to help you reach your dreams and your goals whatever those might be you know i know that a lot of people are having like serious economical struggles right now and i just want to help you you know steer you in the right way so you learn how to make money online and you know that money is easy making money is easy girl you just need to you know have the right mindset and you need to put your big girl pants on and uh and yeah and like you know just make sure that you guys are happy you guys are my peeps so i need to make sure you're happy um, what else I was going to tell you? So today, actually, I did a video with Sophie about uh, all the outfits that I have been wearing lately because, girl, I live in Miami Beach now. I had to move here because I couldn't deal with that Miami traffic, like, going over in downtown. I'm going to show you guys that. Um, can you tell us about your green two outfit? This outfit is sick. Look at it. this woo okay and in the process i died hold on so this outfit i'm wearing i'm gonna show you i was wearing it with these sandals oh by the way i haven't shown you this is one of my birthday presents these are the hermes flats and this is a combo it's by devin windsor i don't know if you guys know who she is but it literally is gorgeous look at it it's so pretty and uh it's kind of like obviously you're not going to be wearing that in like the middle of new york but if you're like going to the hamptons or montauk or you're kind of like in a beach town or just somewhere that's like kind of like beachy kind of like get off the boat or just in the beach i guess i don't know and obviously you have to wear a swimsuit underneath because if not is um a little see-through <laughs> I have it in white too. Hold on. What else? When your collection will be available. Can't wait. It is gorgeous. It's super gorgeous. Uh, I actually, literally, I did this video right before uh, jumping into this live. This is why I'm still wearing it because I wear this a lot, like a lot. Um, and you guys will see it is so nice and I will link down to it because it's literally like makes you look like a million bucks. It makes me look like I'm 25. <laughs> I am. No, I'm joking. I'm always looking forward to what you do. You're super inspiring. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you. That's very sweet. Uh, one of you asked me when it's going to be available. Honestly, they gave me access back to the website yesterday. And today, yeah, va. Si tengo el traje de baño puesto. And today, actually, uh, my girlfriend Tina from New York, she's here and literally Tina has angel hands because my hands are not the perfect hands to be photographing rings. Look, look, look at this. I have like, they're not. But Tina has angel hands and she was here today and I was just, we were photographing on her hands like the new rings and uh i'm uploading that up tomorrow morning so tomorrow is tuesday i'm thinking like how about we put it out on thursday i think thursday is a good time like maybe like thursday morning i put it out live and that way um yeah i think thursday is a good oh did i miss the update you were supposed to give us on your blind date damn did i ever go on that blind date that was a long time ago, girl. I haven't had a date in a long time. Guys, I'm single. If you know anyone that I would like, please do think about your girl over here. I'm just really picky, but I'm so single and I don't remember what happened with that blind date. Yes, I'm at stage that I'd rather pay more but get a unique piece. Yeah, girl, me too. Me too, because I've spent some so much money on crap in the past, like uh what did i ever go on that blind date i don't know i don't remember 
when are the shoes coming back? Oh, I've been one. Oh, I got a new pair of shoes from Laura Piana. Let me show you. These here are my new obsession. I don't know if you've ever seen the Laurel Piana Summer Walks. So they are in like suede. These are the most comfortable shoes I've ever had in my life. My style. Hi from London. Wow, you're awake and it's late. So I just got these out for my birthday as well. They were a gift and they are so comfortable. I really wish that I can make something like this because this stuff is so comfortable. I wear it every day. I would love to make loafers in these like very neutral colors, you know, like in the sand and maybe like a little bit darker and in navy blue and in like light baby blue and then like light pink and then brown. I mean, seriously, this is amazing. My shoes, I, I want to, I have shoes in stock right now. Wow, those looks are super cute. They're, oh my God, they are insane. Insane. They are insane. I'm actually just going to do a styling video with you guys for that or just like a regular video where I sit down with my camera and lights and stuff and you can just see it better because honestly this iPhone camera sucks. I'm like looking at it and I'm like oh um, but shoes. I have shoes in stock right now. Um, I just I just haven't put them out. I don't have a lot of them. I have very small quantities of them. So I'm like a little bit nervous to put them out. And then like a lot of you want shoes and then I don't have enough. And I can't supply anyone right now with shoes because the factories are not producing. I hope you run into Harlem vlogger Monroe Steele. She lives in Miami Beach. You two are my absolute favorite YouTubers. Can you please wait? Hold on. I want to see who this girl is. I will find her. Monroe Steele. Monroe Steel. Monroe Steel. I mean, as I'm talking to you guys here, I have like the Dogecoin um, trading view open and I'm just seeing it there go up. I'm like, ah, sorry, I got psych psych tracked. Hold on, let me see who this girl is. Uh, Monroe Steel. Let me see if I've ever seen her. I have not ever seen her, but I need to write to her. Oh, she's fire. Oh, my weekend morning Miami Beach edition. Hold on. Yeah, she's here. She lives here. Okay, so literally she lives, I live on, I live on south of 5th. So I live like on Washington and 2nd and she's on Washington and, uh, so I live on Washington and 2nd right and then she's uh basically like on 20 the addition is like on 28th street so like we literally live on the same street only that she lives up very business minded like you okay i need to reach out to this to her let's see i'm gonna go on her youtube channel and i'll write a comment and let's hope she answers back to me <laughs> alvaro tu estás ahí todavía live chat She's by Coso. She also has a place in New York. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. How, how do you see your new decade and what have you learned from the previous one? 30 lessons. Wow. You want me to, you want me to say that in this video? I, 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 I that's actually a really good topic for a video. Wait, hold on a minute. Let's slide. Let's let me screenshot that. I love that. But I'm going to tell you, uh, hi, I was fasting, so I'm in running late. I want to tell you something. One of the things that I have uh, literally, <laughs> what I have learned the most, because I've learned a lot of things. The one thing that I have learned the most is that things are not, that I can't, that you can't control uh, things in your life. You cannot control anything. You literally have zero, zero control of the outcome of things. The only thing that you can control is what you do and what you think and how you feel. That's the only thing you can control. You cannot control the outcome of something. You cannot control the way someone is going to react towards something. You cannot control that. So it's, the faster you learn that, the 
faster you're going to start manifesting the things you actually really want into your life because then you are in a you you come from a place of you you do it with with your best intentions and when you're doing things in with your best intentions and you're doing what you love i tell you you vibrate in a different frequency and you attract what you vibrate so when you are trying to control the outcome of something i used to be super controlling i used to be controlling with guys i used to be controlling with work i used to be i was a fucking nightmare okay i i needed to like have control of everything and i would actually boycott myself into like the things manifesting into my life because when you're trying to let's say you break up with a guy and like you're heartbroken all you want is for him to call you back all you want for him is to write and and you're like sad and you're like to have this anguish over it well the more you feel like that the more you're gonna push him away from you because you are coming with an energy of lack and um and any and, and that energy of lack vibrates at a very low frequency and you attract why you vibrate so you just keep on bringing all this shit into your life the moment that you just let go of all the situations in your life just just focus on what you do what you say what you say what you think and what you do has to be coherent so it needs to all be aligned um and i I swear to you that it took me a really long time to learn that, but as soon as I learned that, my life has just become so much better. And that's like the one, 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 number one thing that I have learned in fucking 40 years. It took me 40 years to learn that. Hold on, what else? Live chat. Merci. Natalie, Nisa, we're good. They had baseball size hail and orange beach, and we are there on vacation. My sister's having her entire car repainted, almost 5K in damage. I don't understand. Why are you writing this? Let me see. Are you into astrology? What's your pseudonym? Yes. Hi, Renee. Renee. Yes, I am an Aries, and my ascendant is I'm a Libra. I was born on April 7th, 1981 at 6.46 p.m. Hi. Pam Kirby. Nisa, I never miss any of your videos. You're very inspiring and not to mention stylish. That's so sweet. Thank you. I'm about to turn 38 in October, so I'm two years away from being 40. Girl, let's... This is a subject that... You are from 38 hours. I think that the count moves backward. Honestly, I'm 40. I don't even know how I got here. I don't feel like I'm 40. Hopefully, I don't start looking like I'm 40. Um, Miriam. Sorry, it's just I don't know if I'm being too loud and my girlfriend is on the other side of the wall. So I hope that I'm not being too loud. Hold on, live shot uh fire fire yeah dude fire thank god i have that libra ascendant or i would be like a freaking nightmare it's ramadan yes it is ramadan it is ramadan my um yes that would be great topic for a video yeah it is ramadan my girlfriend miriam that is like on the other side of this wall she is also doing ramadan so it's like by the way, what time does this date start? Which date? To that tonight's date. Hi. Which date are you talking about? By the way, what time does this date start? What date? I'm so hungry. What can I show you? What do you want me to show you? my phone is about to die my phone is about to die so i don't know how much longer this life is gonna last and i am for sure not gonna leave this live on my freaking youtube page so whoever was here amazing and whoever wasn't i guess is going to see me on a video i'm only asking to keep you on time i thought you said you have a date tonight no girl i got no date the girl the date is with you guys 
this is my monday night date with you guys and i just want to pick one day of the week where we do a date night just me and you guys just talking and catching up and if you want to ask me any questions um because think about it when i make a video i make a video then i spend eight hours editing it then i put it out and then i can only talk to you in the comments and it's like oh okay it's cool but this is like more real time you know let's see what else live chat how long were i living in, how long was i living in spain i was living in spain from uh, I was living in Ibiza on August, September, October, November, four months, and I'm actually going back. <sighs> I'm going back in the summer. But for now, I am living full time in Miami and I am going to stay full time here because, girl, I'm getting an apartment on Saturday. I'm actually very happy. How many hours a day you you work? How many hours a day I work? Well, just so you know, I wake up at four o'clock in the morning every single day. And from four to six o'clock in the morning, I'm literally just trading. I'm like into cryptocurrency. I'm watching all like the Bitcoin news, the Ethereum news, the Dogecoin, the Cardano, the everything. So I take those two hours and I'm just like catching up with everything and trading. And then at six o'clock in the morning, I will start my uh meditation practice with prashant which is my meditation teacher he is right now in india he's been in india since the lockdown so we jump into zoom calls and we practice every day no am i selling my house no i don't own my house that's my mom's house i don't own my house that's like my family's house and whenever i'm in miami i stay with my family very cool. What made you move to London and then switch to Spain? Still in touch with London YouTubers? Yes. The, actually, I lived in London for 11 years. And um, I actually had a business in London. I was partners in a digital media agency. It's based in Belgravia. And uh, we literally grew that to be, you know, the biggest, if not one of the biggest uh, influencer agencies in London. And like I work with, we do the influencer marketing campaigns for all the brands. Yeah, I mean, Bulgari, Cartier, Van Cleef & Arpels, ASOS, Misguided, um, Revolve. If you go back and you see my vlogs from London, you're gonna see that I was always out in events and it's because these people were my clients. Back in February, I uh, separated from my business partners in London and I basically moved back to Miami. I have never told you the reason why that happened. It was something that was really difficult for me and it was very, very hurtful for me. Um, but, you know, I think that you need to stand up for yourself um, when it comes to doing the things that you love. No one should ever tell you that you cannot do something that you love so that's why i lived in london i'm going back to london i'm just waiting for lockdown in europe to kind of like things to come back to you know normal and why did i go to spain well my best friend lives in um ibiza she's from new york she's been living in ibiza now for like five years ibiza is amazing it's so beautiful it's like untouched nature is amazing um bump into gary oh my god I bumped into Gary V, dude. I actually, I didn't only bump into Gary V. I actually went and I filmed Gary V in like Vayner Media when I was living in New York. So my friend owns a magazine and the day he was going to go shoot Gary Vaynerchuk um, for the cover of his magazine and uh, his videographer bailed on him that day and he called me and he's like i really need a favor can you help me I, you know film this interview that i have with gary vaynerchuk and i was like what of course at that time i was working in a restaurant in new york that's when i lived in new york guys and yeah we went to vayner media and like i met gary v and like spent the whole day filming them and what a great inspiration that guy honestly the met the day i met him is the day that i knew i was like I was it was very inspiring for me let's see how did you learn about crypto make a video on how you got into yoga meditation please 
you know how i got into yoga and meditation by like really feeling like shit and like you live and learn you have to grow hold, hold on yeah um what did okay so i studied i have two degrees i studied corporate real estate and marketing and i started it here in miami and um the other question that i she was asking me here was uh how did you learn about crypto and please okay two answers make please make a video on how you got into yoga meditation and how did you learn about crypto how did i get into yoga meditation honestly from feeling so like shit from feeling frustrated from feeling like uninspired just for feeling like i was stuck for just not feeling absolutely happy um and i got into it because one of my girlfriends uh met my meditation teacher prashant she met him in singapore because she always goes to singapore once a year thank you ava that's sweet she my my girlfriend noelia goes to singapore once a year and she's like super into like yoga and meditation and uh, prashant was actually her meditation teacher in singapore and then he came here and he spent three months here and uh, that's how i met him because she was like girl if you're like feeling you know, so frustrated. I was feeling so frustrated because at that time I had been living in London and then I was here like, no, I had been living in France and uh, I had moved back home and I just like really love Europe and I usually used to hate being in Miami. Um, and I literally got into meditation practice because I wanted to stop hurting, <laughs> basically. And I wanted to stop feeling frustrated and I wanted to stop feeling stuck. And I started, you know, practicing with my with Prashant and literally you have one you you guys have one practice with him and I put my hands on fire. I promise you, you're gonna come out of there feeling so freaking amazing, so unstuck, all your frustrations go away. It's just it's just it's not that he is like God gives to this earth, it's just that he comes from a culture that um you know knows how to manage their energy around in the universe that we live in and we are not taught these things when we are little so yeah i really can't i really cannot live without like meditation practice every day if not i become a wreck live chat what do you love the most about europe how does it compare to the us oh my god miami is so pretentious uh, not really. It depends. Miami is, it depends. If you come here as a tourist and you're only hanging out in the places where the tourists are, then yes, Miami is pretentious. But you need to come to Miami, not with the mentality that you're going to be going out and partying and popping bottles. That's not what Miami is really about. It's just kind of like Ibiza. Ibiza has this bad reputation that all you do there is party. No, when I lived in Ibiza, I didn't go out anywhere. Miami is about eating healthy, working out, going to the beach relaxing really you think that miami's pretentious i don't I, miami can be pretentious miami can be pretentious it depends if you come here with a group of people that are like tourists and all they want to do is be going out and popping bottles in nightclubs and like being around girls that i mean yeah it can be like really tacky and pretentious but then there's another entire other side to miami super tacky and pretentious but then there's an entire other side to Miami that is that it's like, I'm going to show you that side because that's kind of like the side that I live in, which is this Miami is the place where I come to get grounded. You know, this is where I come to eat well. This is where I come to like slow down my mind. This is where I like relax. This is where I get very creative, you know. Um, but I actually also take everything that's around me. Like I wake up super early. I go to the beach. I look at the sunrise every day. I go in the ocean every day. Um, when my friends are out partying at night, sometimes I go out until four o'clock in the morning, but most of the nights I'm in bed by like eight, nine o'clock at night because I want to wake up early. Okay. Wait. Are you guys not bored of listening to me talk now? I've been talking here for 74 minutes. Yeah, I always return to Miami because one, my mother lives here and this is home. Um, and this is home, you know, this is where my mom is. So I always come back. No, we love listening to you. Oh God, your jewelry looks amazing. I was late for the launch. Any updates with the website and the jewelry sales? Girl, 
you have not been late for the launch because there has been no launch. I haven't launched it. I was supposed to launch it on April 7th and I didn't launch it on that day because we were having some payments um, security uh, uh, updates uh, on the website and what took was supposed to take 24 hours took an entire week. So I'm gonna put it out. I'm thinking we should put it out on Thursday. I think Thursday is a good day for everybody because you're like done with work at the beginning of the week and like you can like think a little bit towards, you know, I don't know, I think Thursday's a good day. Friday, I don't care about anything on Fridays. On Fridays, I just wanna be like, whoo. Um, but I think Thursday is a good day. You guys wanna, do, when do you guys want me to put this out? Tell me, up to you. Uh, live chat Thursday is good I think Thursday is good it's chill like we all have a lot of work during the week I I don't want to be like I don't want anybody or me myself to be stressed of like oh my god I have to like go on this because it's like going to sell out and then you have like so many things that you need to accomplish the beginning of the week is so important because you have so many things you need to like accomplish and set the tone for at the beginning of the week so things like manifest towards the end of the week and then if you start the beginning of your week with a freaking stress of like oh this is out i need to go and i need to order it it's just like uh i just feel that it just makes like the rest of the week like it doesn't you need to let things flow yeah we'll do thursday i'll do thursday morning i'll put it out early uh, going to Miami soon. What's one area spot that you love? Oh my god, Miami Beach, south of 5th. South of 5th is the best. Thursday morning. Yeah, I'm gonna do Thursday. Put it on time to get an item by Mother's Day. Okay, so Mother's Day, it's now, guys. I mean, Mother's Day is... Uh, hold on. Mother's Day. Mother's Day is May 9th and uh, Mother's Day is May 9th. Oh, okay. That's time. Oh, okay. So May 9th is in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 days. So here's the thing with May 9th. If you get pieces that are 14 karat gold, I literally have one of each that is made because I make one of each of the pieces of 14 karat gold and diamonds in case it doesn't sell, then I keep it. Um, because what I'm trying to do is like for the 14 karat gold pieces, I want you guys to have the option of doing what you like, you know? Let's say that you want, okay, for example, my heart ring. Let's say my heart ring that I love. This ring, it's made with a topaz, but you can make this with like a white sapphire that looks like a freaking diamond and it's insanely beautiful. Or you can make it like, let's say that you like that yellow, you know, citrine stone, or let's say you like amethyst, whatever. Let's say you choose the birthstone of one of your kids or yourself or your mom, or let's say that maybe you don't want the heart. Maybe you want a different ring, you know, with different stones. I'm going to make whatever it is that you want for you. But, oh my God, you guys are going to see this and this you're going to really freaking love. I was able to now, now I can make the necklaces with like anything you want to write on it. Anything, either in plain gold at letters or with diamonds and those are super quick and they are so so beautiful and they are like more the most affordable that i have been able to find because i have tried to get this stuff done and it's like so freaking expensive um but the thing with the custom pieces is that most custom pieces i can make in like six days but a lot of them take like 12 to 18 days so if you have a custom piece you need to literally order it on Thursday if you want me to have that in, in time for your mom for uh, Mother's Day because that's going to be cutting it really, really, really tight. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe I should send out an email, right, to you guys. If you bought from me before I have your email, everybody that has bought from me before, I can send out an email with like the entire collection and then you guys already know what you want and you can order it before it goes live the next day for me i'm just thinking that 
yeah, for you to receive things by Mother's Day, we're gonna have to really hurry up. But I have a lot of really cool things for moms that are really ready and I can ship next day. You know what I'm going to do? I think this is gonna just make it so much easier for everybody. I'm gonna go into each product page and I am going to put in the product description, ships next day, ships in six days, ships in however many days it ships. Yeah, for the email, we'll, we'll do that. We're just, we're just trying to get organized here. I don't want to, I don't want it to be like, but Mother's Day is cutting it really tight. <laughs> that's really tight. <sighs> but I think we can do it. You know, that's a good idea. I, I, next to each product description, I am going to put on the product details, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna say free shipping in the United States, uh, ships next day or ships in three days, or ships in this item requires six to 12 days to make. Because for example, if you have like, you know, let's say that you want the boy or the girl in diamond. Oh, I have it in here. Like this one is diamonds. If you want this, I, I need you guys to give me at least three days to make this, you know? Um, because I have, you know what? I'm going, I have recorded the process of how we make each one of these things. I'm gonna show it to you so you know how much love goes into making each one of these pieces. That's that's what I like the most, the love that goes into making it. Oh my God, I've been talking for 80 minutes, 80 minutes. Okay, let's see what's at, what else. 26 cents, I'm here looking at this, all is good, okay. So so I am going to tomorrow. Sorry for stressing you out before your date. No, I don't have a date. I don't have a date. My date is with you guys. That's why I said Monday night date. My date is with you guys. <laughs> I ain't got no date, girl. Nobody wants to date me. Are you going to add the bangle bracelets? Which one are the bangle bracelets? That would be so helpful. The bracelets I'm going to add are so so fire, so fire. They're basically like this. Let me see if I can get something out of this box. What a mess. Uh, okay. These bracelets, girl, they are so fire. These I love. Like these, these are made with like diamonds, right? But you can, oh my God. These are diamond letters with 14 karat gold, but you can have them with plain gold letters and they look so beautiful and this you can literally write at anything i have a friend of mine that for his girlfriend he ordered one for me that said forever and then it says like their the date that they got married these are so beautiful wait oh uh, can you see i don't know i don't think this camera is doing these things justice i'm suffering this is gorgeous you can write anything you can have it for necklaces and all of that yeah, we really need to get into this customs orders quick if you guys want this. Lies, if no one wants to date you, then they're foolish and blind or both. Girl, no one wants to date me. I think I scare them away. I don't know. I can use one of those bracelets. Yeah, they're really pretty. Literally, they're really nice. But I think that what they're really... You know, I've been trying to like just make things, not to just make them, but like you want to make things that when you give it to someone, they feel really special that you like thought about them. You know, how do we get on your email list? Have you bought from me before, Melissa? If you have bought from me before, then you, I already have your email, but have you bought from me before? If not, I can just um, create, you know what I can do tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm going to upload a video, right? I'm gonna upload a video of, what am I gonna upload? Tomorrow I'm gonna upload a styling video, if you guys want. Or I can upload my vlog of kind of like what I've been doing the last couple of days, one of those two. Uh, but at the end of the video, I'm going to leave like a link. I have, no, oh. I'm just going, listen, don't worry about it. Tomorrow I'm gonna upload a video. And in the description box, I am going to have a, um, a styling video, yay! Woo! In the description box, I'm going to have a link that if you click on it, uh, you just put your name and your email and that's going to put you in my in my email list. We'll do that tomorrow. I got you. Clothes haul. I have so many things to show you. I have like everything I got for my birthday. 
I also have new things that I have gotten over since like the past like since yeah the last two months or something um i have i can do a styling video for you as well i have a lot of things i haven't done a zara haul in a long time but this is my question do you guys want to see zara hauls maria no digas casi tu dirección what does that mean yes girl your style ch my thing <laughs> The, the thing is that you know the reason why i haven't like really been doing um sarah hauls is because that yeah of course i still have the suits from my studio they're the best so okay so this is all good brands we want to see hauls yeah i got a bottega veneta new bag it's sick i got a chanel new bag i got uh, a couple of jimmy choo shoes um I got like new t-shirts that are so beautiful with like shoulder pads from like Diatico. Everything is like really chill, actually. Um, the reason why I haven't been doing the Zara styling hauls is because I feel that there's so many people that are still kind of like on lockdown around the world. And I just felt that, I honestly felt like so inadequate making styling videos and like shopping videos about clothes. I just, I don't know, I just felt bad. I just didn't want you guys to like, like take that in the wrong way. But if you guys want me to do Zara hauls, I have a Zara two blocks from here. I can just literally, I was there actually two days ago and they have so many beautiful things. I I can, you know how, what I can do? I can actually just do like, go and show, be like, these are my favorite white tops. These are my favorite tops from Zara right now. Or these are my favorite shorts from Zara right now. Or these are my favorite jeans. And this is how you style it. Or these are like my favorite pieces. But I think that just like doing a styling haul for Zara, it's just like so many different pieces. I would get like so overwhelmed if I was on the other side of the computer. Because then I would just want to get everything. And I would just be like, I can't fucking afford to buy all that. You know what I mean? Let me see something. Do a Zara versus designer do. Uh, Zara fashion depends on where you live. Yeah, I know that. Yes, yes, I shop during lockdown. Yes, Maria. Maria, that's a good point. I hear you. Uh, the thing is that the Zara is like, let me tell you, in South Beach, there's two Zara stores. And the one that's like two blocks from me, literally everything is shit. Like I wouldn't buy anything from there. But then you walk another two blocks and you have the Zara that's on Lincoln Road. <gasps> oh my God. They have so many beautiful things. Like so many beautiful things. Like things that are actually like super classy. So that's why I was like, you know what? Maybe I can like start doing the Zara videos again. But I want to like break it down. I don't want to be like, okay, let's do eight, eight. Each video has like eight different uh, outfits and they're all like different pieces. I think that we should like pick two pieces and be like, or a couple of pieces, but like make a video about shirts, make a video about tops, make a video about bottoms and like that because they're constantly having uh, new things. Do you wear Simonette clothing? Do I wear Simonette clothing? I don't have any Simonette clothing, but they are really nice. Actually, a lot of the... Uh, Almost all the clothes that was worn for the photo shoot of Spiritual Gloss. It's just I haven't started posting on the Spiritual Gloss um, Instagram account that, by the way, like 140 of you are following it. I am so happy and grateful for that. But I have all the content that's going to be posted there. Now, as soon as I launch, I'm going to start posting there. And like all the clothes that the girls were wearing were from, from Simonette. Where, what clothing brands do you really like? What do I really, really like? <laughs> I like things that are just basics, but that are like very high quality. So if I have to pay a little bit more for having a really good quality, then I will do it because I wear the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Like I don't w spend much time thinking about what I'm going to wear. Let's see. Nisa 813, I hope so after lockdown. What do you mean Nisa 813? Tell me what that means. I'll visit Zara in New York. Do you know, do you miss London? I miss London so much. 
I miss London so much <laughs> and I miss my friends from London, which by the way, I still have so much footage from the boat because that boat trip was with my friends from London. So I also will finish uh, editing that and put it out. I just feel as time passes by, like content becomes so irrelevant when I don't post it right away, but that's not irrelevant because that was a very, very, very special trip. But I do miss London. I miss London so much. I was in London once. I took the underground everywhere. I love London. Thank you. Hola, Suad. What do you think about plastic surgery? I have nothing against plastic surgery. I'm just like a freaking chicken and I have never gotten any plastic surgery. But I think that there's a lot of alternatives to plastic surgery. It depends like what you want. I think if someone is going to feel better if they get plastic surgery, then they should get whatever it is that makes them feel more beautiful i mean i don't have plastic surgery but i do things to my face like i actually was in my dermatologist like oh two weeks ago there's a lot of treatments that i do to my face maria's naturally gorgeous oh thank you um you know i thank you that's sweet there's i'm not gonna lie to you i do a lot of things to my face but it's like you know i do uh, plasma which is like that blood facial. I do that like once a month. I put vitamin C, like injected vitamin C all over my face. I do, uh, you know, I do a lot of things to my face, but not plastic surgery. 